Welcome back everybody to sunny Oak Brook. This is our last of the year, New Year's Eve edition. We have the foundations already poured, uh, excuse me, the footings I should say already poured. We had an unfavorable soil condition that required us to do some last minute engineering, make the footings larger in order to satisfy the local inspector and the engineers. But um, unfortunately the, snow, the, the cold snap got us. It became three degrees uh, around Christmas, three degrees Fahrenheit, far too cold to work. You can still see the blankets on the footings. As soon as it gets a little bit closer to 30 degrees Fahrenheit, we'll be back <coughs> in force to get that going. I had to switch gears. Uh, actually, what we planned on doing is having the addition up first and then doing the interior, <coughs> excuse me, the interior carpentry later. But because the weather is what it is, we switched gears. <coughs> and now we've tackled the inside. As you can see, the carpenters have done an amazing job raising the ceiling here. It's going to be a three tiered ceiling like you remember with a large skylight there in the middle we have defined the dining room space with these new LVL supports we need one here to support this roof system if you can see the rafters behind me coming in the carpenters are still going to move uh, all of these bearing points down to the lower level so right there in the window, don't worry. We're not gonna have a post, that window gets moved over and that point will get taken all the way down to the foundation. The laundry room and the boys bath has gotten larger per plan. So you can actually see that distance there, how it got bigger. This is gonna be very nice and comfortable along with the boys bath. The master suite. Almost completely framed out. We had an issue there. You can see the back side of that old 2x6. We had that's a header for the joist that the ceiling was lower. And it wasn't, we weren't aware of that until after the demolition. So we ended up leaving this existing wall. You can see how we doubled it up. You can see the double walls here. The reason we had to do that is we couldn't leave those joist ends unsupported. We ended up losing three and a half inches out of the mega closet, but at the end of the day, it was minimal. <coughs> now in the master bath behind us, a very, very generous walk-in shower. Walk-in shower. A, uh, what other kind of shower is there? Um, a very large six and a half feet by seven foot shower, probably the size of some people's walk-in closet. Very generous. The bathroom is going to be behind me in between those windows. And the water closet right here. This entire wall is going to be vanities and custom countertop. So we're going to have all the framing done in about two days, two more business days, at which point the electricians and the plumbers will be coming back through. And we'll start getting the MEP knocked out. Uh, this room here, no major change, it's a fantastic space. Ultimately that brick fireplace is going to get uh, clad. And in here the demolition crew got a little too hasty and ended up taking up the subfloor. We've got this surface mounted conduit, which was I guess popular in the 70s, but no longer. So I stopped them just in time. We're going to put this plywood back and that is going to be our ultimate floor pipe. So, thank you for joining us on this last of 2017 edition, and we'll be talking to you in 2018. Thank you.